What's up guys, Triple C here. Today we got the new supercar, the Gradi Visione, Vision, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to do the stunt test with it. I'm going to test it on a variety of stunts and see if it's a good car for stunt racing. And now remember, this is only about stunts. It's not about is it a fast car in general or is it a good car for racing or for GPs. Um, I test all the new supercars on all types of stunts, um, um, on the same stunts also, so we have a direct comparison. And compared to the top other supercars for stunning, which are Osiris, T20, Zentorno, and the XA21. Those are the four best cars for stunt racing up to now in the game. So let's see how this one does in comparison to the top cars. Let's go. Okay, so right off the bat, as you see in my very scientific test here, it seems to be rear-wheel drive. I'm now accelerating and only the rear wheels are doing something going backwards. Alright, first up, like always, we got the regular container wall ride. Now, for everybody that knows this, it, of course it will get over, any car can wall ride, including dump trucks, that's not what we're looking for, if it can wall ride in general. We will be looking for how does it re react to the dummy proof, the lineup container, which I'm going to hit before the wall ride, is it going to try and drive up that container, or will it be guided smoothly by the container, that's a very important factor for stunt racing. Then we're going to check out the steering, which is kind of like everybody has their own um, preferences regarding that. But is it sensitive? Is it steady to steer on the wall? And we're going to see how the camera reacts. Okay, wait. Let's go. Never wall in this before. Oh, very steady, actually. Pretty easy to control. As long as I'm not doing... Uh, okay. Well, it's pretty steady, actually. Surprisingly steady. One thing I did see immediately, this is a rear-wheel drive car. And that can always cause issues later in ascending wall rides. Stuff where we're going uphill. These cars often lose um, their speed. Oops, lose their speed going up because not all four wheels are really helping to get it up there. And an issue is it's also a low car. I saw some telltale signs of that. We'll see that in the next test that we might lose our camera view if we lose some speed. Yeah, you see now it's zooming in on the back of the car already. So yeah, but all in all. Um, not surprisingly it did it, uh, definitely a pass. Felt quite nice for a rear wheel drive car, so uh, definitely pass on this one. Right, next up we got the ascending wall ride, and this is where we're going to see if we're going to lose our camera view and if it will slow down on the ascending bit. One thing I really got to say in terms of racing, the car, this is only a stunt test, this is not about the racing performance in general. Uh, check out people like Brophy for stuff like that, for example, because they know much better what we're talking about in that regard but um this is wait wait, wait, wait. We gotta concentrate okay it is easy to control but over here yeah this is where we're going blind and just guessing where we are yeah unfortunately we see this with all the rear wheel drive cars and the low cars they kind of lose it kind of maintained its speed more than i thought i thought it would slow down more so that was definitely a positive surprise but if you're doing these old school races and you got steep ascending bits, also spirals and stuff, you will lose your camera. So fail on this one. Alright, next up we got like an overhead wall ride to spiral down to wall ride type of thing where we are going to see if we're going to lose our view spiraling through there going overhead on the wall ride, which uh, we had a pretty strong indication that it will do that in the previous stunt test with the ascending wall ride. So let's check it out here. We're going overhead, yes, and I'm blind. I mean, I know this race well, so I know where to go, but if this would be a race, I wouldn't know. It'd just be random if I get through or not. So unfortunately, this one does lose its view, but I gotta say, it's got such an enormous traction at high speeds. Unbelievable. But still, a fail on this one, we lost our camera view. Okay, next up, really quick test here, the King JMK loop. Now there's only one car that didn't make this, all other cars made it. Actually, the X80 was the only car that didn't connect to the wall. We're going to be doing this loop here. And after that, connecting to a building wall. We want to see how it connects to the building wall, basically. Yeah, it connected as expected, like all the cars did, except the X80 Proto. So no surprise here, a pass on this test. All right, next up, spirals at a low speed going in there from a very close distance and also we're going to be yanking the steering to see if wait let me turn off the stunt cam to see if um, it's going to slide out in the spiral or not so what i also did with all the other cars 
I'm going up close to the spiral and I'm gonna enter it from the beginning here because uh, that's where mostly the four wheel car drives do much better because they really got that raw power from all four wheels getting the car up there. The two wheel drive cars, they struggle on this one and don't really develop that traction going in there at a low speed. So let's go and check it out. I can't even, uh, it's, uh, it's the two wheelers, man, they can't do this, unfortunately. Even though they might be quick on the track, you know, once you got that speed speed built up already. As soon as you're going uphill, also in the stunt races with the tubes and all those big ass props going uphill, you do worse in the two wheel drive cars, you know, you want to have a four, that took a bit more of a run up there, but I can't get it. Like, it just will not get up there. I mean, I just saw it, it seems incredibly quick on the track, incredibly quick. But just for like simple stunts like this, the two wheelers will not get it unfortunately. It's, I'll go in with some more speed, then I'll get it probably. Yeah, I quickly lost our view. Okay, so I'm g uh, okay. So yeah, um, already fail on the first thing we're testing in here. The second thing I'm testing now, once I'm upside down, I will yak my steering as hard as I can to see how easily it spins out. So I will fall off, but the thing is, I w I'm going to be looking for if it spins out or not. So let's go. Yeah, I've just felt it slip immediately. So yeah, definitely not recommended on these types of stunts, uh, which is also generally a rule of thumb. Um, ascending stuff, going uphill, doing these big ass props and cunning stunts, you want to have a four wheel drive car. The two wheelers just never do good in these, so a definite fail on this one, not recommended for stuff like this. Uh, Zentorno and XA21, by far the best, with a big, big distance to all the other cars, so fail on this one. Alright, next up we got the crab slide. Now there's basically three types of cars with this type of stunt. There's cars that um, will roll over on the roof, that's a good thing. There's cars that will stay on their side and just continue sliding normally, um, basically never falling down, also a good thing. And then there's those types of cars that get back on their wheels, which is just uh, unusable for a stunt like that. So let's see how it does. Not good with the dummy proof, immediately saw that. Not a good acceleration yet, what I expected. It's going on its wheels immediately. I mean, I'm just, and it's losing speed, man. Uh, okay, so definite fail on this. Like, whether you're gonna let it roll over on your roof or whether you're gonna let it slide on, keep it sliding on the side, it's not gonna work with this car. Definitely not recommended for any type of race, uh, any type of crab slide, whatever incorporated. Definite fail on this one. Alright, next up, this is just like a small extra. It's not really part of the test because, like I said earlier, any car can wall ride. It's basically just what you feel best with, what you're most comfortable with, you know, everybody's got their favorite types of steering. I just want to basically check out how it does on a yeah, pretty uh, easy to control, actually, regarding that I'm not used to this car yet. But yeah, um, easy to control. Um, it's not too oversensitive. I think the XA21, for my taste, is more sensitive than this one. So if you have the speed going in, which was always an issue with the two-wheel drive cars. If you have the speed, you can do okay with this one. But like I said, I mean, there's people that wall ride an RE7B through these things, you know, so it's whatever you're used to, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it is quite steady to steer, so quite nice, uh, actually. Like I said, not part of the test, just a small little extra here. But actually, not that not that bad for a two-wheel drive car. Uh, surprisingly good, actually. Okay, guys, so we have reached our final test. Like every time in the stunt test, the last race we do is Freaky Leaks, huge loop racing number three. There are only very few supercars that can make this loop. Um, the Osiris T20, Zentorno, uh, the X80 did it, uh, Tempesta, and Nero, I think, and um, actually the Penetrator, big surprise also. Um, so very few cars that can handle this loop. I gotta say this car man. It's unbelievable the traction it has in high speeds and corners Wouldn't surprise me if this would be like also the Wagner had incredible traction the XA21 it Seems like they're souping up the cars a bit um, To basically force people to buy them all because they're just so good. Wait, we gotta go from the respawn. Yeah, here it is so yeah, but um 
just judging from what we saw up to now, also how slow it got in the crab side TSL, and it being a rear wheel drive car, which all failed miserably on this one. Um, I have my doubts if we'll get through it, so let's just see what will happen here. It's always tricky to see in the beginning with the stunt cam. Sometimes you think you're still on it while you're actually off already. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm off it already. I'm in the air. It looks, that's what I meant. It looks like you're still on it, but I'm actually falling. So yeah, no surprise here. I basically expected it to fall with the rear wheel drive. But then again, keep in mind, this is only a stunt test. This is only pertaining to stunt races. We had that discussion lots and lots of times and I got so many messages from people that are like, I'm shit talking the cars even though they're so quick, like the X80 Proto, for example. Um, true, it is a very quick car on the track and you can definitely, if you can handle it, you will be quicker than other cars, but you will not do good in stunt races, you know? And it, this is also like the stunt test I do here is kind of like a point system, you know? We're looking for a car that can complete everything, but there's always cars for certain situations, basically. Wait, let's just go through here and finish up. Um, for example, like the XA21 is not a good crab slide car. So all in all, if I look at all the tests, yes, the Osiris, the T20, the Zentorno, they actually made all the tests, while the XA21 failed on one test on the crab slide. That doesn't mean that if you're in a wall ride race, the XA21 won't be the best, you know? It's always dependent on the situation also. X -A um, the X80, for example, which did horrible in the stunt test, it is just, it is a four-wheel drive car, which has an enormous amount of power, so if you end up in a race, a lot of these Rockstar cunning stunt races, for example, if you end up in one of those, which doesn't involve dummy proofing, there, for example, it can be a very good car, because especially going uphill, the X80 is just incredible how quick it just goes uphill. So it's always situation specific, you know, what you're looking for. So basically there is no best car in that sense. It always depends on what you're really looking for. but. Just for the stunt races here with this car, this is not your. This one will not replace the Osiris T20 Zentorno or the XA21. It's definitely not up there with those cars. It's rather a racing car from what I can see um, up to now. Check out guys like Brafi. He probably also have his um, test of this car up um, today um, to see how good it is for just normal racing situations. Incredible traction in this car, but unfortunately not suited for stunts. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I could help out and help you guys decide whether it's worth buying or not. Depending on what type of racer you are, what you're actually looking for. If you're a stunt racer, this is not your car. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm out. Peace.